Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madam Shaza and I teach science for Form 1, Form 2 and Form 3 at Sekolah Minah Science, Tuan Kumunawe. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about the structure of the human respiratory system. Lesson 2.1 Human Respiratory System At the end of the lesson, you should be able to draw and label the internal structures of the human respiratory system. The human respiratory system provides an area for gaseous exchange between the blood and the environment. It allows oxygen acquisition and carbon dioxide elimination. The gaseous exchange in the lungs is called breathing, which is an external respiration. This exchange involves the taking in and letting out of air. Structure of the human respiratory system Air enters the respiratory system through the nostrils. The air then passes into the nasal cavity. As the air passes to the nasal cavity, it is warmed and moistened. Dust is trapped by the hairs. Air then leaves the nasal cavity and enters the trachea through the pharynx and larynx. The wall of the trachea contains C-shaped rings of cartilage, which give it support and prevent it from collapsing during inhalation. The trachea branches into two bronchi. One bronchus enters the right lung, the other one enters the left lung. Each bronchus branches into smaller tubes called bronchioles. The bronchioles end with millions of tiny air sacs called alveoli. Alveoli are tiny air sacs which are surrounded with a large network of blood capillaries. The lungs are made up of bronchioles, alveoli and blood capillaries. The lungs are located in a space called thoracic cavity. The lungs are protected by the rib cage, which consists of ribs and intercostal muscles. A sheet of muscle called the diaphragm separates the thoracic cavity from the abdomen. In our lesson just now, you should be able to identify the parts of the human respiratory system. You should also be able to visualize the pathway of air entering the lungs through inhalation. Thank you for watching. See you again in our next lesson.